This is MSJ Chem. In this video, we're going to be looking at calculating wavelength from the bond dissociation energy. Next, we'll be looking at calculating the wavelength from the bond dissociation enthalpy. The bond enthalpy for the double bond in oxygen is 498 kilojoules per mole to the negative one. This information is in the data booklet under multiple bonds and here we can see the double bond in the oxygen molecule has a value of 498 kilojoules per mole to the negative one. This is the energy required to break one mole of double bonds. To calculate the energy required to break one double bond, we use this equation here. The energy required to break one double bond is equal to the bond dissociation enthalpy multiplied by a thousand to convert from kilojoules to joules and then you divide that by Avogadro's constant which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. That gives us a value of 8.27 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Next we'll use this equation. Wavelength equals Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by the energy required to break one double bond. So next I'll input the values into the equation. So here we have Planck's constant multiplied by the speed of light and divided by the energy required to break one double bond. That gives us a wavelength of 2.41 times 10 to the negative seven meters. One nanometer equals 10 to the negative nine meters. So we can convert this value in meters to nanometers and that gives us a value of 241 nanometers. And as you can see, this is in the high energy region of the ultraviolet spectrum. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.